You know, it seems like the crypto craze has died down quite a bit in the, you know, past month or so. Nobody's really talking about it on my channel. Yeah, sure, there's the occasional, uh, oh, can it mine? When I talk about a, you know, a phone or a freaking a water cooler or whatever, like, got the joke, thanks for making it for the thousandth time. It doesn't seem like a lot of people are still interested in mining, which has me wondering, is crypto mining even still worth it for a lot of people? Because GPU crypto mining is an easy and often fun way, if you like tinkering with hardware and settings, to earn some sweet passive income, especially if you're a gamer or enthusiast who already has a powerful system lying around doing nothing while you're asleep or at work. But if for whatever reason you've been thinking of getting into it, but haven't jumped on the bandwagon, the mining bandwagon yet, would it even be worth it right now? Well, ponder no more because that is what we're gonna be taking a look at here in this video. Now, if you'll remember, we recently uploaded a video all about just how much more affordable and easy to find graphics cards have become over the last few weeks. That is, if your definition of affordable is one or two hundred dollars over MSRP instead of the three to four hundred dollars that they were during their peak, there are the specials. We can find the specials. Yes, I know you've seen that GTX 1070 going for $399 at that one shop at Newegg. You just happen to pick it up, but most of us have to buy it at the expensive price, okay? All right, if we're buying new. This means, though, with the price drop in the more affordable graphics cards means that if you're considering getting a new graphics card or six for mining, you would only need to live off of two minute noodles and tap water for three months instead of five. The lowering price are in large part due to big miners not gobbling up all the cards that they can find anymore, which is obviously a good thing for gamers and prospective small scale miners alike. Unfortunately, the reason why other miners aren't snapping up cards as quickly as they used to is because profits are in the toilet right now and not even a fancy toilet at that. Yes, even though mining profits flowed just a few months ago, that's right, we're going from toilets to flow in, if you can imagine the cesspool and the septic tank that it's going into. So they flowed just a few months ago, like the hate fueled tsunami, the currently gushing towards NVIDIA, and it all dried up faster than the UFD tech expense account when new RGB products pop up for sale at Wootware. Wootware, I love you, but I, the, the freaking RGB M.2 heatsink, like, can you not? My wallet needs a break. So the two main reasons for all of this flatulatingly horrible swirling whirlpool of garbage mining profits are higher mining difficulty and mineable coins deciding they don't want to be worth tons of money anymore. So mining a single coin in most cases is now harder than ever before and said coin isn't worth as much as plebeian, I mean real money, than it was during the last boom. That being said, it's not like there's no profit to be made from mining right now. I mean, you can profit off the anger of your friends. Terrible joke, keep it in. It's probably just a lot less than you might be hoping for, but just how much less? Let's answer that question. Well, we decided to find out with the help of some quick maths. To do that, we'll be taking a look at a few GPUs formerly praised for their mining prowess and calculating just how long they take to pay themselves off if you bought them right now and how much you might expect to earn per day. First up is AMD's ever popular RX 588 gig. The cheapest one currently available on Amazon is the ASUS RX 588 GB Dual Edition coming in at $429.99. And notice it's the Dual Edition because thanks to Nvidia, GPP, all of that nonsense, we're not gonna get a ROG Strix AMD RX 580 anymore. Ah! crap. After BIOS tweaking and optimizations of the card, it does around 30 mega hash on Ethereum, and it's which tends to be its most profitable algorithm. Popping that hash rate into an online mining calculator without accounting for electricity shows that the card should be earning $1.11 per day, calculated with an electricity cost of 12 cents per kilowatt hour at the GPU's rated TDP of 185 watts, profit drops to as low as 58 cents per day. Now, of course, your card will probably run it, be running much lower than the TDP since you'll most likely be undervolting it heavily and electricity costs might be lower in your neck of the woods, so your results might certainly vary, but basically you get between 58 cents and $1.11 per day. That's the idea. So assuming electricity cost isn't a factor at $1.11 per day, this particular card is expected to pay itself off 
in 387 days. Yeah, not the best ROI we've ever seen. This trend continues with other cards too. Gigabyte's Aorus 1066 gig, which is still gaming, thank you Nvidia, currently goes for $359.99 and is currently most profitable mining Ethereum at around 25 mega hash per second. At that rate, you're looking at a profit of around 84 cents per day and an ROI time of 428 days. On the lower end side of things, a $220 GTX 1050 Ti, which mines coins like Zcash, most profitable at around 190 souls per second makes around 47 cents per day and has an ROI time of 468 days. Things don't really look a lot better on the expensive side of things either. Nvidia's 1080 Ti is still one of the best mining cards around but you wouldn't think that at its current profitability. The cheapest one that we've seen in stock new comes in at around a thousand dollars $50. I'm just going to say $0.50. Cents, $1,000 and $50. Great break up there, Brett. $1,050 and is currently most profitable mining the Neoscript based Feather Coin at around 1500 kilohash per second or the Lyra 2 Rev 2 based Mona Coin, which seems to be Japan's answer to Dogecoin anyways at 72 megahashes per second. Currently, the most profitable of the two, depending on your chosen calculator, is Mona Coin, which a 1080 Ti should be able to mine for around $1.86 per day. This is meaning that you're looking at an ROI time of 564 days. So can I just point your attention to the fact that an RX 580, an RX 580, AMD's best answer for mid-range cards, earns $1.11 per day. The 1080 Ti, which at one point was earning about $11 per day at its heyday, is now only 75 cents more than an RX 580. That is horrible. And then the last card we checked out was easily one of the most impressive mining cards of this generation, at least for a while, thanks to its crazy Crypto Knight hash rate, AMD's RX Vega 56. Surprisingly enough, if you disregard the Crypto Knight based Carbo coin, which we've never even heard of, the most profitable coin to mine on on Vega 56 right now is Ethereum at around 42 mega hash per second, 43 if you're lucky, or if you're just better than I am, at around a cost of $765. A Vega 56 doing 42 mega hash per second on Ethereum should earn about $1.56 per day and pays itself off in 490 days. Those numbers seem pretty grim and it's because they are, and they're even more so if electricity costs are a factor where you'll be mining. In places like Germany where you're paying 35 cents per kilowatt hour, forget it, you're not earning nothing. Calculating an average electricity cost of 12 cents per kilowatt hour, which is what we're paying in South Africa, into the equations drastically cuts into what little profit there is to be made even further. Now, there are various other factors that can influence your profitability at any time. So these calculations only serve as an indication of what mining is like right now. There's always a chance that the coin you're mining drops in difficulty or skyrockets in value like most coins did at the start of this year, in which case your profits will be much higher. But on the other hand, this one, difficulty could increase even more dramatically than it already has and your coins could lose even more value, dropping profits even lower. Like freaking if a GTX 1080 Ti drops lower than a dollar today per day, I am going to have to like learn how to wolf whistle. I don't even know, like that's just horrible. But look, if the question here is, is GPU mining still profitable? Then the answer is sure, it definitely can be if you have the right cards that earn more than they cost in electricity. But if the question is, if it's GPU mining worth it right now, then the answer is, uh, it's not a little fuzzier. It's it's just an outright no. A passive income of a dollar or two or even 50 cents per day isn't a bad thing if you already have a great GPU in your gaming rig or if you already bought a mining rig and you can't afford to send it back because you're already past the return date on Newegg and you just have to stick with the cards you have and you have to mine it out then you're technically still profitable. But spending hundreds or even thousands of dollars on new cards and equipments in the current market just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The profits just aren't there and the chances of your cards ever paying themselves off before they're rendered practically useless for mining seems exceedingly low, especially with Nvidia's next-gen GPUs looming right around the corner and maybe even Vega 12, depending on what that might be. Nvidia's upcoming generation of cards, speaking about Team Green, even though everybody hates them because of GPP, they're expected to launch around the third quarter of this year. And if the rumors are to be believed, they might just be exceptional miners. One rumor that's gained a lot of traction over the past months is that Nvidia is planning on launching mining-specific cards alongside regular gaming cards. And if these cards are built on the Volca Volta architecture, which most signs seem to be pointing at, just like the current most profitable GPU, 
the Titan V, then they might well outclass all of the current GPUs on the market, meaning that mining difficulty will go even higher and your cards will be careening towards unprofitability even faster than they, as if they weren't already there. So for the first time in a while, we can't really recommend getting into GPU mining unless, as we've said before, you have a decent gaming card already or are planning on buying one you only want to mine with on the side. It's a bad idea right now, plain and simple. Until we see a new release of graphics cards or we see another boom in the crypto market, which I'm not sure is likely to happen. I mean, I'm not a predictor of anything. Bull markets, bear markets, it's all Greek to me. I'm, freaking, I'm lost when it comes to that kind of stuff. Anyways, if unless we see any changes happen, like with, with Polaris and Pascal, my recommendation and a recommendation of a lot of other crypto YouTubers that I've talked to, it's not worth it to get into it right now. Just don't. Like, is this graphics card worth it for mining? No. Should I buy this graphics card for mining? No. What if I get it used for about $500? No, it's just not there. Let's say you do get an RX 580 for about $200. That means at the dollar per day that you're earning, that's 200 days to pay it off, which isn't particularly great. And all signs right now are pointing to that profit going even lower, not it staying still or going higher. That's one of the main things that was going on back in December and January was we were seeing prices going just through the absolute freaking roof and they were maintaining at all time highs. And when they're doing that, Sure, then go ahead and buy for a 200 you know, day payoff period. But at the current pace that we're at with new cards looming to be introduced to the market to destroy the profitability of current cards, I just, I, I can't see that it's worth it in any capacity. But let me know what you all think. Are you on the mining hype train still? Are you buying cards for mining and now that they're getting lower? Are you buying all the used cards that people are selling off because they can't afford to mine anymore and you just want to add them to your rigs and you're just like that guy on eBay who's snatching up all the dirty miner cards? Let me know down in the comments or over on our Discord. Please, 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 my friends, join the Discord. And also, I just want to say thank you guys for 100,000 subs. Like, holy crap. I can't believe it. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing for it. Like, I don't know where I'll be or if I'll be able to address you guys in a more like direct way. But thank you guys so much for 100,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Anyways, I'm going to end this video there. Smash the like button if you enjoyed it. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech related content. You want to buy graphics cards for gaming or mining or any new things that might be coming out. Use our Amazon affiliate code down in the video description if you want to support us. And that's it. I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.